Hey, welcome back to Rational Funk with Dave King. Joe Johnson behind the camera. Um, you know, it's winter time now, uh, and uh, you know, I put on my stocking cap, and I was like, my toque, you know, we, I'm from Minnesota, so we wear hats. You know, also, I don't have much hair, but I actually have hair. That's one of the things that <laughs> I think people have uh, you know, been wondering for a long time about me is am I bald? No, I actually have a ton of hair. I just shaved my head because I have one of those heads where, you know, um, like phrenologists have told me that I have a good head for, for head shaving and I just think that I look more highly evolved than someone with a lot of hair. I do it for the late, I've heard, I read in GQ, I read in Cosmo. Um, there was a thing in Cosmo that said, what do women like, you know, as far as just like what 25 things they like most about a man. One of them was uh, shaved heads, shave my head. When I don't shave my head, I have, I make Michael Landon look like Bull from Night Court. Today on Rational Funk, we're going to be investigating a wildly successful um, movement in music from 1990 to 1996 or seven or so um, that, that you might be able to call rap rock or you know rap rock and roll or the combination of some real hip hop, real hardcore, real street cred hip hop, and um, and some funk rock. Um, some of the purveyors of this style, um, of course, the wildly successful um, band of crazy miscreants, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. But then you have groups with a, a, a shorter window of popularity, like Limp Biscuit or Corn uh, with a K, um, because uh, I think it, calling your band Corn and spelling it C-O-R-N, that's not tough enough. That's not. <laughs> that's not. Oh, that's sort of like. Yeah! Yeah, check us out! Instead of like, check it out! Or something, that was almost like, check it out, fear, get used to it. <laughs> Which is a tagline Joe and I are working on. I'm working on a <clears throat> horror film about a tiny, little tiny person that was shrunk by a shrink ray, and but he has a, and a tiny little chainsaw that he has, and <laughs> he fires it up. And you're like, whoa, something, I feel like I'm stepping on attack. You're not stepping on attack! It's me! Small chainsaw guy! He's trying to cut your toe off. <laughs> and his tagline, fear! Get used to it! But you can barely hear it so the whole time, right, Joe? What are you saying? I say fear! Get used to it! You're so small, I can't hear you. Anyway, we're been investigating these fields in rap, rock, and roll. A wildly successful music movement. Then I started investigating the lyrics of these things, and I have to say, I think that the hook of these tunes, basically, if you want to come up with your own rap rock hit, another guy that did this a little bit in earlier in his career is Kid Rock. Now he's sort of doing this sort of like quasi earthy, kind of like salt of the earth, I, I relate to the working man Michigan shit like Bob Seger vibe. I don't know. Kind of the, the big saggy panty fake hip hop thing that he was doing, I, I don't know, I think it was more genuine on some level. Now it just sounds sort of like, well I want to do a Chevy commercial too, but I, I like drinking cans of beer. I don't even drink beer out of a bottle. Can you imagine those meetings, the Kid Rock meetings? Like he's got his publicists and his managers because that's exactly how this goes down, by the way. And he's in there going, well, what next? I mean, what can I do next? I got to stay f***ing relevant here. I'm turning into f***ing Avril Lavigne, whatever her name is, right in front of him. I'm turning into f***ing Pink over here. I got to f***ing be relevant. Okay, what about, um... I mean, you you drink beer, don't you? Yeah, I drink beer. Okay, what about if you only drink beer out of a can? <laughs> yeah, f bottles of beer. I, don't know, I only drink it out of a can. Anyway, let's say I'm writing a song for the new Kid Rock record because today we're gonna talk about branching out and not just being the drummer, but being the writer, the drummer, the producer, the drug runner, the guy who rounds up really sad women that have nothing else to do with their lives but hang out with Kid Rock. Okay, so,
Here's what we go. Ready? Here's how we do it. Since simple. You put together a drum feel like this. And then you say an adage. Now you're wondering, Dave, what the f is an adage? Dave, what is an adage? This isn't a f college lit course here. We're not reading Samuel Beckett plays here, are we? We're playing the drums. Okay, okay, an adage. Simply, I don't know what an adage is. I just know several of them, okay? So here's one of them. <sighs> a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush! A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Yeah. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. That's all Limp Bizkit did, man. My way or the highway. It's all like, what's the other one? Nothing but the what, Joe? I did it all for the. Nothing. I did it all. I did it all. Well, that's not really an adage. It's just more like, but I did it all for the. Is the adage. I did it all for the glory. I did it all for the whatever. So, Joe and I came up with ours. That was a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Here's another one. A stick in time saves nine. A stick in time saves nine. Give credit, what credit is due? Give credit. That's like a red hot chili peppers hook. Give credit. Give credit where credit is due. We don't have much else to do because we don't. Uh, 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 uh. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. 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 Blood is thicker than water. Blood is thicker than water. People in Florida go out and buy that record and those f never have to work another day in their life and that's how you get the gig.